1 for main engine start. We have main engine start. On April 12, 1981, the space shuttle launched for its first mission, STS-1. There's a lot of excitement surrounding that launch. It would be the first time that Americans had launched from American soil since the Apollo-Soyuz test project in 1975. Well, the first flight, uh, our intent is primarily to make sure that the bird will get up like we want it to and it'll come down like we want it to. The space shuttle would be a significant achievement. It would be the first of its kind, a fully reusable vehicle for travel to low Earth orbit. The design and development of the space shuttle took 10 years. The propulsion systems, the space shuttle main engines were one of some of the most complex, highly advanced engines. They still exist today as the RS-25s on the Space Launch System. But for those people who don't understand the significance of this, one more time, please. Why do you think this is so important? Why are you so satisfied with it? Well, it's, a, it's, a, it's an age-long goal to be able to fly into and out of space, but even more than that, uh, I think it's a, a remarkable way to get payloads up into space cheaply and economically. It's what we've been trying to do for the last 10 years, routine access to space. It's gonna improve uh, science and technology in this country. That's gonna be remarkably beneficial to everyone in this room in ways that we just can't even imagine. Robert and I have spent uh, most of the exciting and interesting uh, two and a half days, probably that we ever spent in our lives or ever spent again. The spaceship Columbia is a phenomenon. It is an incredibly amazing piece of machinery. And anytime you can take something that big and put it into space and bring it back and land it on a runway, you have just accomplished something just short of a miracle, I believe. I believe that as we stand here this afternoon, even those of us with the greatest imagination cannot in any way project the future that has been opened by the flight that John and Crip have just completed. The success of the STS-1 mission was the beginning of a long line of successes. Overall, the space shuttle program would verify that human beings could travel routinely to low Earth orbit. While there were incredible risks involved and incredible things that happened along the way, NASA never failed to come back to its mission. And over the course of those three decades, the space shuttle program led on a number of successful missions and really redefined what we know about the microgravity environment. It enabled the building of one of the most successful facilities human beings have ever designed, the International Space Station, and provided access to that space station for a long time. It would go on to deliver a number of incredible observatories to low Earth orbit, Hubble, Chandra, Compton-Gamma Ray Observatory, and a number of other missions. It was a remarkable success that has led us to this moment. We can learn a lot from the space shuttle. We can even improve upon the space shuttle, but we'll never forget the lessons that it brought us.